Hello folks, it is July 13th, 2020. I am at Mikasu Provincial Park. Check out that eagle. Anyhow, I'm gonna try to get sight 343. Okay, I got my sight 343. Which was 38 bucks, bag of firewood, eight bucks. Sight 343 is right here. And we are, must be right here. All right, so I gotta keep going wherever that truck's going and find the site. Park staff was really nice too, gotta mention that. Here we are, site 343 in Pines Campground. Might not have been my best pick, because there's a road coming in right here. But I think I'll set my tent up here and maybe my car will block any oncoming headlights while I'm trying to sleep. So I decided to skip lunch. So I'm eating early dinner. It's about 4.30. I went to the Steyer Hut restaurant or Snitchel House in Sunridge. So, let's see what I got for 21 bucks for a tip. Potatoes. Excellent. And here is the schnitzel. Oh wow, look at all the breading. It looks amazing. I'll let you know how it is. That schnitzel was absolutely amazing. Anyhow, so if I'm at site 343, I'm going to walk over and check out the beaches. I see how Eagle Lake looks. Which means i got to go that way. Then I'll come back, set up camp, and then go for a longer hike. So I'm on the way to the beach. Just thought I'd show you another site. Here's 404. I didn't pick the nicest one, did I? But, oh well. It's pretty busy. Park was almost sold out in the weekend, I saw. Today being Monday. There's still a lot of sites now. Here's one of the washrooms. Okay, so this is what I see so far. It's uh, the outhouse one. No flush. But we got a little hand sanitizer station here, I think. That's good. Here is Eagle Lake. It's actually a fair sized lake. Driving in, I saw it went way down there. Lots of cottages on that side. See some ducks are pretty tame around here. Well, I think we'll go swimming today, maybe tomorrow. It's actually the first cool day in a while. But the kids don't care. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. What's your buddy's doing here? I'm a duck herder. I'm herding the ducks together. Stay together. Wow, it's a big tree. This thing. Okay, so I got a camp set up. A regular Wanderer 2 tent. I can sleep two people. Guess that's why it's number two. Got a twin air mattress in there. Look at the map. I want to go hike the one trail, which is the Beaver Meadow Trail. I figure I have the best shot of seeing a moose in there. So there's a golf course in this place too. All right, I'll let you know how I do. It is hiking time. Here's one of the taps. It's right beside my site. Over there. See how it works. 
Oh yeah, that's good water. Anyhow, oh look, see this site's even nicer, 341. Got some ice age boulders there. Nice scenery backdrop. No one's really camping on this side. It seems the further away you go from the beach and the electricity, there's not many people out besides someone biking there. Okay, 338. 339. Okay, I just cut through site 340, I think it was, and it's open field back here. Kind of random and strange. It's nice and soft. Probably got a soccer game going back here. I am back at the front entrance here, where I started the video, because it appears the hiking trails are across the road which is still part of the park, but here they are. So I want to do the red one. I'm going to do it clockwise, which means I have to go that way. But where I was camping was like right here. And there was a big field back behind here. And then I kind of bushwhacked through here, then out to where I am now. All right. Let's go get this beaver metal trail. Check out this disc golf course. Disc golf. Is that where you throw like little frisbees or something? Okay, I'm 20 meters in. We got a little boardwalk because it's just mushy there. It's nice. Nice and easy so far. I'm at the dividing point between beaver metal and the other trail. But yeah, I said I want to go red, so I'm going red. Well, I guess I'm doing it opposite. I thought you were supposed to go uh, clockwise. Oh well, I'm doing it. Here's my first real opening. No animals yet. Where are they all at? This looks like the little lake or pond on that map. It's so peaceful. No one's around. I am now on the back side of the trail, maybe one kilometer in. Deciduous forest here, a lot more buggy. Here's a nice section. I don't see any animals, but the first opening I was over there, and then I went up a hill into the deciduous forest, and then back down here bugs are pretty bad but I'm enjoying it either way I'm gonna chill here for probably five ten minutes then go on my way so I found frisbee golf whatever you call it okay, par 3 67 meters okay let's go find out where you gotta throw the frisbee at I found it okay so this was 67 meters from where I said I don't know how you play this like you got a lodge of frisbee in here. I think the chains must break to force the frisbee, then it falls in. And you go on to like the next hole. This is an 18 hole course, I guess. Kind of neat. I'd give it a shot if I was with a group. Okay, that trail is done. I'm not gonna bother with the other one. There's no water on it. I'm gonna go back to the campsite, I guess. Get a fire going. Maybe eat some more. Relax. I am back from a little hike. So here's what I did. I started before I set up camp, went to the beach, right? And then I came back and then I set up camp and then did my little loop on Beaver Meadows. This was the little loop. It's nice. Bit of hills up here. Then you go back down and well, that was my favorite spot where I saw the lookout at the boardwalk there. It looks like these satellite photos are crossed between uh, summer and winter. Okay, I don't think I'm all summer now going out. Anyways, here's where I am. So Algonquin's like right here. So I'm almost out of Algonquin. It is about nine o'clock. I'm burning off some cedar wood from a buddy's gazebo that he tore down. 
and uh, the park wood there. But I have to tell you about a new speaker. But I wanted to show you guys this radio from Sun Life. It's a company in China. They produce amazing radios. Look at this stuff. I got a flashlight here that can zoom in and out. I got the antenna. I can get three wave bands, meaning FM, AM. I also get the NOAA radio, which is on WB. And uh, flashlights. It charges by USB or crank power. Or of course the floor panel. Also, it charges your phone too. So you can plug your phone in and charge it up. Uh, what's we got here? We got uh, AAA batteries here. It's a reserve battery line. It's kind of neat. Everything works good on it. Uh, Alright, I'll turn the radio on. Kind of neat. Oh yeah, there's an SOS call here. It's kind of loud though, might scare people. I'll turn on for a brief second. Yeah, I don't want to do it much, campground. Well, that's what it does. That's kind of neat. Here is my fire. I find it kind of neat. Just remember I set up with the headlights. I set up my car and my tent over there. But look straight down. Big corridor of trees and road. But these trees are obviously planted by us humans. Reforestation after deforestation. My best guess. Good morning. It was a nice sleep. It's finally cooled off. It's like the first cool night in a while. Anyhow, I think I'll get up and uh, see what's going on out there. Pack up this tent. Okay, I'm all packed up. The site is really clean. So that means I'm leaving. So please like and subscribe. Check out my buddy Paul's channel, Green Blue Earth. I'll put this link below. And I'll see you next video in Lake of Two Rivers in Algonquin.